Good evening. Today I will be talking about the management of human resource. Obviously, the first part would be finding the right people. The three broad goals of human resource management are finding, developing, and maintaining an effective workforce. Many of today's organizations use social media to find the right applicant with the company's desired characteristics. The first part to finding the right people would be HR planning, which consists of retirement, growth, and resignation. The second part would be choose a recruiting source, such as ads, headhunters, and internet, which is being used almost by every employer nowadays. Um, selecting the right candidate by applications, tests, and the most popular, hosting interviews. And then you have welcoming the new employee. Now, most companies are following federal laws, and that's why we have most HR managers that are making sure that all companies are keeping up with their federal laws and making sure that the workforce is up to par. First law would be the Equal Opportunity and Discrimination Law. Then you have the Compensation and Benefit Law, you know, 401k, medical insurance, and whatnot. And then the Health and Safety Laws. HR managers must apply multiple federal laws that prohibit discrimination, establish safety standards, or require organizations to provide certain benefits. Now, with these laws, there's no longer any um, discriminations or, you know, promotion decisions such as refusing to hire a black applicant. Paying the female less than the male is no longer acceptable. Effective uh, 1963, as we all know, the Equal Pay Act, so that's no longer acceptable. Health insurance coverages, which are paid by employees, that little thirty, forty dollars, or a hundred dollars they're taking out of everybody's check at the end of the week. That's what that's going to. It's following even after the termination. Now, the notice of terminations. Uh, most valuable HR tool will be the exit interview, which are usually held by the party employee, I mean, employers, uh, with the parting employees to determine why they are leaving the company. When employers, when employees are leaving, they are often very direct. Uh, as we all know, organizations will always lose employees, just how we also gain them, you know, and technology has made it a lot easier to fire somebody and to hire somebody. You know, you have Craigslist, Indeed, jobs all over the place. Such companies as T-Mobile, Campbell Soup, and other companies avoid the face-to-face -face meeting when terminating or firing somebody, the term that we use. And... Um, they have employees fill out an online exit questionnaire. I guess that makes it easier. Um, the interview process. There's an issue with that. A lot of employers do not follow the guidelines. There's uh, many applicants that aren't aware of the rights that they have when going for an interview. And feel that they have the need to answer every question that they are asked. At the end of the day, these applicants are just looking for a job that they need in order to pay the bills that need to be paid. So they feel like as if they have the rights to answer every question. They don't know any better. Many employees don't follow human resource guidelines and figure that they would just get over since most applicants don't know any better. Some of the questions that are okay to ask is, is the applicant over 18? 
is the applicant ever been convicted of a crime? Has the applicant have the legal right to work in the United States? The way you don't ask is race or color of skin. If the applicant has ever been arrested, if the applicant has any physical or mental defects, not okay. Uh, termination. Some of the ways to not fire somebody, unprofessional ways. Do not terminate any employee ever over the phone. Completely unacceptable. Do not terminate uh, an employee in front of other employees. Do not be disrespectful or rude. You're now making it personal, which is not supposed to be a personal matter. You professional way to fire somebody or terminate them is you call them or pull them up for a one-on-one -on -one meeting. You follow the company's guidelines. You stay on topic. Do not make the conversation personal or up for a debate. Uh, a lot of these companies are now using consultants. They do the firing for you, Trinet, a Bay Area firm that serves uh, as a defect human resource department for over 1,500 small companies. They come and take care of the job for you. You don't have to do the one-on-one -on -one meeting with any employees. And human resource management, let me sum it up for you. Although it is well known that employees do not follow most guidelines that I just spoke about, there are many that do. It is very important as an employer, as an employee, to be knowledgeable of these facts. Many lawsuits have been filed because of these situations where there isn't a safe work environment, a racial discrimination, or when you have up to 12 weeks of unpaid leave for a childbirth or an adoption or any family emergency, etc., etc., doesn't hurt anybody to be aware of what one has to provide or be provided at a workplace. Managing HR is effectively and actively duty as well as also a complex challenge for an HR manager and every other manager. And that's all.